Good morning neighbors. Once again, we're all loaded up and we're ready for another job. It's a little chilly out here in Georgia today, but we got to get things done because we have a customer out there that had a tree fall on his chain link fence. So he gave me a call and see if I could be able to patch it up. I'll be honest, this is my first time patching up a chain link fence, but I looked it up yesterday. I researched as much as I could and I think I'm ready to take on the challenge. So if you're ready, let's head out. And we have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you an overview about how everything looks right now, where the fence is all knocked down, the areas that we're going to patch up or fix pretty much, and then we're going to do a time lapse of the whole thing at the end, just like the previous video that we've done about the fixing the hill. We're going to go through and kind of recap everything, explain my thought process, and give you an overall look of how the final product will be, all right? So we got to level out this little hill first. That's why we brought the tractor. This fence, as you can see, we had a big tree fall on it. So it is very, very busted up. So we brought new wire out here, all new pipes. We're going to redo all the pipes. Probably change out that post, change out this post. We're going to have to get rid of all this brush right here out of the way. Patch up that side. So as you can see, it's going to be a good sized little job. That tractor is going to come in hand right now to pull all the wire back. And then after all that's said and done, we're going to add one more piece of fence down on the left side. So that way he can complete his backyard. All right, let's see where we're at right now. We got the old wire out the way. Use the tractor to kind of clean a little bit where the new wire is going to go. That way we have some open space. And as you can see, we ran a rope right here at the bottom. That way we know that our fence is going to be nice and straight. All right, we unrolled the roll right here to the left side. That way later once we put our poles in all we have to do is lift it up and chain it together now it's time to get down and dirty <laughs> we're gonna have to use those pole hole diggers so the idea here is that we're gonna dig a little bit just about maybe six inches or eight inches that way we can actually pour some concrete around the base of that pole the rest of it because it's gonna be buried in there at least two feet the rest of it we're actually just gonna uh, use the I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but we're, you'll see what we're going to be using to actually drive them down into the hole. I guess pulse hole drivers. So we're going to be using that to actually drive it into the ground two feet. And with that little bit of concrete, it's going to be very, very sturdy. Let me go give them a hand. All right, so now that the poles are in place, now we find a good area where we're going to connect to. Luckily, 
it's not that far away where we had to replace the wire if you notice there's actually different kinds of ends and they actually just couple in together so see this end is just a little bit thinner this than this end so it just couples on together and then my dad went ahead and put the caps on all of them so we're just going to be assembling these poles down the way down the way and then after we assemble them then we can pick that wire up put some clips on it and start stretching all right so right here as you see this is where we got to cut we got a little coupling right here that is going to go in that side and then right here where this is going to go so since we want it to butt up to this area we want to make sure we cut it here i got some masking tape that's actually going to be my edge right here that way i know that i can cut on this side all right So real quick let me tell you the thought process here as you see there's not much of a tail on this side where we can splice it into and stretch it so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna put this on that side splice it and then we're gonna stretch it down this way probably cut it around here that's already messed up because we know we're gonna have extra wire and then we're gonna splice it again around this area so don't splice on a pull that's a little too difficult besides that one right here is a little bit of a mess so we're gonna go down there, splice this one in there.
All righty, so as you can see, that is somewhat of the finished product. The only thing we have left is we're actually going to bring in a little bit of dirt with a tractor. Try to level out underneath that fence because um, now that we put, put it a little bit more even, the dirt kind of washed away and made a little hole underneath it. So we're going to fill that in with dirt here in a few minutes. But I just want to show you the finished result of the splice. As you can see, this one is galvanized wire. That one's regular uh, chain link fence so it's a little bit different but that's all they had at that time the customer said uh, if that's what they had he wanted to put it up already so that's how it ended up I will give you more details at home about how we actually put that up we struggled a little bit but like I told you this was our first time but we're making the best of it we're really trying the customer really like how the splice ended up even though it's two different colors but that's because of the chain all right now that we did this side he actually wanted to go ahead and do the side over there, so that's good though. So y'all get to find out how to actually put up some chain link fence on some established corners, alright? Well, unfortunately guys, it's starting to get a little too late for us, so I wasn't able to record most of the work we did. Uh, it's time consuming to be working and recording at the same time, and we're at a customer's house. So I want to kind of respect the time that, you know, he's paying me for. So we got the, the fence put up in a timely manner. That one got put up. I'm going to show you real quick uh, kind of what I was talking about, how to do the ends. That way you guys can at least benefit from it even though I wasn't able to show you in detail. But at least you can see it. Alrighty, so you can see we put this bar right here, right on the edge. And then we put it on the edge. We clip this on here. Put the other clip on the bottom. Another clip up here. Make sure you have your pole end. I'm actually going to be cutting that one. The saw ran out of battery. But uh, next time I come around. Because I still got another job I got to do with him. I'll be cutting that edge off. And then here of course. We put concrete on it. You put your clips. I put three clips. One here. Another one there. You put your post cap. You put your bar all the way across. Every now and then you have to. You know. Customize things here the pole wouldn't make it the old bar that we that uh, we took off from there that was crooked We actually cut it spliced it in here, and it worked out pretty good. So Customers actually really happy with the results guys. There it is Alrighty guys now that we're home, let's recap real quick. All right, let's start with the funny stuff so right here it was a funny moment because what happened was that after we cut that tubing, we then coupled it together and then we kind of looked at each other and said, okay, now that it's coupled together at one end, how do we couple the other end? Because it was a patch, remember? Luckily, it didn't take too long for me to realize that what we had to do was take the cap off the previous pole and then push it outward, couple it outside and then bring it in but it was still a funny moment because we had a brain freeze and we looked at each other like okay <laughs> what's next right but that's part of being out there and having fun on the job right so let's move to the next one let's show you how to get a piece of wire to be used for splicing all right it's pretty simple guys all you have to do is undo the top undo the bottom and then turn it to the left until it unscrews of course, that was our first time, so that's why it took three people. But I think with a little bit of practice, I think we can get it down to at least two people. But that's how you do it. Let's move on. Next and last one, guys. The most important of them all, all right? I have to be honest with you guys. Making the splice is a little bit difficult at first, especially like me. No experience. But challenge yourselves, all right? Challenge yourselves and give it a try just like we did. So what we first did was... We stretched out the fence, overlapped it so we can measure it. Once we measured it, then we took a piece of bar that is normally used for the edge or the end of a fence up against a post. We used that bar to actually run it in between both of those fences, the front and the back, and that way that could kind of be our guidance bar, you know, that way we knew where exactly we're going to splice into it. So we did that to hold them together, and then we went ahead and undid the excess wire, got that out the way so we can clearly see what was the working area, right? Once we did that, we then brought in our splicer wire, like we know, 
We brought in our splicer wire and we started just running it downward, spliced it together, and there it is, guys. I'll be honest with you guys, that did take more than one try to get it correctly, all right? But at the end, guys, it's always about challenging yourself, all right? Even though this job might have been a little bit more better, a little bit more perfect, customer knew it was our first time. I really, really can't think of enough to allow us to actually do the job for him. But now that we know, we're gonna be doing so much better on the next few jobs. If you guys out there have any kind of advice, anything that can make things easier for me, for anybody else viewing these videos, please comment below, all right? Because at the end of the day, all we're doing out here, guys, is every single day we try to learn, every single day we try to improve, and we just simply wanna take pride in everything that we do out there uh, for ourselves and for our customers, guys. So, like always, I hope you enjoy this video. So don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and get out there and have fun.